Today's video is something different. I'm gonna go through all the different features on the GE150, the GE200, and the big daddy, the GE300 for more. Let's get into it. Welcome back folks, my name's Shane. As of right now, I'm fortunate enough to have three of the four multi-effects pedals processors from Moore, the G150, the 200, and the 300. Now, I haven't done a full review of the 300 that's coming up on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in that. Now, I've had a lot of people ask for a comparison about what's different between each of the models and what are some of the features you get on some of the larger ones that you might not get on some of the smaller ones. So that's what this video is gonna be, interlaced with a couple of tone samples as well. So the first part of this, I just wanted to show you how they stack up in terms of size. So G150 looks great. G200, not that much bigger actually. It's slightly shorter, but it's that little bit longer. And one of the upgrades over the 150 is the actual pedal, expression pedal here is metal as opposed to plastic. And also underneath, they look very different as well. This is a plastic bottom as well, but yeah, that one's like a lime green color. So there you go. Now in terms of the size between the 200 and the 300, this gets quite a bit heavier. You also get what looks to be a grip tape expression pedal over here as well. I think that looks great. It's actually really heavy compared to this one. And in terms of physical size, as you can see, quite a bit different. Again, probably a third larger than the G200. <laughs> Here's the GE150 up close. So if we take a look at the back of the unit here, as you can see, we get an input here from the guitar. We also get a stereo left and right output. And we also get a headphone output as well as your regular USB connections here, power input over there as well as an auxiliary in, which means you can plug in your mobile phone via a cable and play some music that way if you decide you wanna do that. Here's a G200 up close, and as you can probably tell, it does look a whole lot more premium. It actually sort of feels like it in the hand, being that it's quite a bit heavier. And if we take a look at the back, the major upgrade compared to the G150 is we also get an expression pedal two over here. So we can plug another expression pedal in and use that as a volume or a wah as well as the onboard one. So that's something that doesn't, you don't, well, something you don't get on the G150. All right, here's the behemoth, the G300. Man, this looks great. I can't wait to actually give it a shot. If we take a look at the back of this one as well, you can see we have a whole lot more IO. So the standouts would be the XLR outputs over here as well, which is left and right, mono on the left and right if you wanna run stereo. We also get a ground lift button over here as well if you get any hum, nice and easy. We get a MIDI in and out as well over here and a larger, headphone output. I think that's a really great addition. We also get some effects loops as well. So we get the send and returns as well as a regular TRS left and right output over there. So plenty of options as well as this. We also get the expression pedal two option. So we can use another one very much like the GE200. We also get that. I think that's a really cool addition. One of the additional options with the GE300 is the input. We get a guitar level input as well as a line level input. So depending on how you're using this and what you're using it with, just select the appropriate switch position over here. What I'm gonna do now is cover all of the different types of effects and how many of each there are in all three of these units. Let's do it. In terms of amplifier simulations, the GE300 has way more coming in at 108, whereas the GE200 and GE150 both have 55. Each of these come with a whole lot of effects. The GE150 and the 200 both have 151, while well, the GE300 comes with 317. So if you're looking for a whole lot of effects, the GE300 would definitely be the best, being that you get basically double the amount. Crazy stuff. <laughs>
Now in terms of how many presets you can make, you can make up to 200 with a GE 150 and 200, and with the GE 300, we get an extra 56. So 256 with the big one, and 200 on both of the smaller ones. Each of these also come with effects blocks as well, so the GE 150 and 200 both support 9, whereas the GE 300 supports 15. Now if tone capturing something is important to you, say you got your favorite rig and you want to actually profile that and get the sound of that into this particular pedal, then you have to get the GE300, the other two don't do it. I can't wait to test this up against my Kemper to see which one yields the best results, so stay tuned for that. Now in terms of third party IRs, each of these three do it, which is great news. This one supports up to 20 third party impulse responses, whereas G150 and 200 only support 10. So if you want to get past 10, you'll still have to go up to this. I don't even know if you really need to sort of put that many IRs into one of these units. 10 will probably be enough. So yeah, you don't need to get the most expensive one to be able to load third party IRs. So any of these three will do it fine. So if you're a guitar player and you want to loop some samples and all that kind of stuff, each of these will do it, but there's a huge difference in how much they'll actually record. Both the GE 150 and the 200 only support 52 seconds in stereo, whereas the GE 300 supports 30 minutes. <laughs> so they've obviously put a much larger SD card or something in this one over the little guys. But if you're not into looping, then either of these ones will probably be fine, any of the smaller ones. If synth is important to you, only one of them will do it, and you guessed it, it's the GE300. So if that's an effect that you definitely will like, get the GE300. The synth effect is one of those sort of things that guitar players love to kind of warp their guitar into, you know, like a synth synthesizer. So if you want that effect, get this one, it will do it for you. Now in terms of tap tempo functionality, if you love your delays and all that kind of stuff, they all support it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, buying the less expensive one and not having a tap tempo feature. So it is in there. If having a drum machine is important to you as well, you'd be shocked that this one, the G150 has it, the G200 has it, but the G300 does not. Now, there's also a smaller one which I don't have on hand called the G100 and that also supports it. So it's interesting that they left it out of this big guy, but it is crammed pack full of a whole lot of extra features that the other ones don't have and a lot of extra space for storing presets and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, no drum machine built into the big guy. <laughs> Now there is a huge difference in terms of weight as well. The GE150 comes in at 0.68 kilograms, which isn't much at all. So far less than one kilogram. The GE200 comes in at 1.4 kilograms. So it does jump up quite a bit. And the GE300 comes up at three kilograms. So it's twice the weight. And yeah, it is quite heavy, but I like the robust feel of this one. I can't wait to plug it in. <laughs> Stay tuned for that video. And one last thing to add to this list is stereo effects loops. The only one that has it 
is the G300. The other ones don't. If you do need a stereo effects loop, get the big fella over here as well. This will be the only one that supports it. Thanks again for watching, folks. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. So not too long back, maybe a month or so ago, as of shooting this video, I reviewed the GE150, so that's already up on the channel. About a year ago, I did the GE200, so that's had a lot of views. <laughs> so that full deep dive review is already online. And this will be coming up on the channel, so if you want to see my thoughts about this, pros and cons and all that kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and that video will be up in the near future. So they all have their benefits. There's one thing I forgot to mention about the G150 is you can actually run it into your phone. This is a very portable rig, uh, unlike the other two. So this has a USB out as well as USB in. It's got two. So whereas all of the others only have that one that goes out to the computer. So if the portability is a, a concern as well, the G150 will do that. A massive thanks to Moore, not Moore. It sounds funny saying that now. For sending these out, I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about them, all the links will be below. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.